Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So we're going to be doing another um, gradient stamped manicure over black gel polish. Um, I won't be showing you sort of every move with stamping over polish. I'll leave a link down below for one of my previous videos on how to stamp over gel polish. Um, but today we're going to be using the Model Zone Chrome Collection. So I've got one from the new collection that have just come out and I've got two from the previous lot that came out. So, and we're going to be doing this sort of damask vintage look and I just love this sort of subtle gradient that we've got going on over the black. I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to find out how I created this, then just stay tuned. So these are the gel polish I'm going to be using today, which is OPI gel colour. So I'm going to be using Lincoln Park After Dark, which is sort of an almost black purple. And then obviously I've got my OPI gel colour top coat. If you're doing this on natural nails, you will also need a base coat, but because I'm doing it on acrylics I've not used one. Then these are what we're going to be using for stamping polishes today so it's all by model zone. We've got one from the newest set of chrome polishes that came out which is chrome pearl. Then we've got two from the older chrome collection so we've got chrome pink and chrome charisse. Then for a stamping plate today I'm going to be using one of my Born Pretty Store plates from We Heart Nails UK and this plate is BPL016 so I'm going to be using this image right up in the corner here and then as always I've got my squishy stamper um, which you can also buy from We Heart Nails UK and then I've actually just got my Fabio Nails scraper. So I have done my two coats of black gel polish. I also top coated and then what I've done is I've just buffed off the shine of the top coat using a white block which is sort of a 240 grit buffer. So any type of 240 grit file um, buffer will do and all you'll want to do is just take off the shine because obviously the stamp then won't stick to a shiny surface like that. Okay, so I've just cleaned my plate with acetone and we're using this sort of damask um, print at the top because I thought it was really, really cool to then go with the chrome pinks and stuff. So I'm going to turn it on its side like this. So we're going to get chrome pearl and put it in the top corner, then chrome pink in the middle and chrome charisse. Then get your scraper and your stamper and there you have that wonderful image. So and as most of the time we're going to go from cuticle to free edge and then side to side. So I'm gonna do exactly the same on my other three fingers. done I'm going to clean up around the edges top coat twice using my gel top coat curing in between each layer wipe off the inhibition layer and then I'll be back with you so and here is the finished look now obviously like I said it's sort of subtle but I just think it looks beautiful I just love these colors together um, 
and I just think the sort of gradient is just so so nice so I hope that you liked this tutorial guys um, please like and subscribe for future videos and I will see you all again soon bye